Here's a quick video on doing the uh, front brake caliper uh, battle clips on a Dodge uh, front end. They probably put these on a lot of different vehicles. This is a Dodge 1991 B250 three quarter ton van. The CarQuest kit here, 5516A. So uh, it comes with uh, some different clips. This is how the uh, manual shows them going together. And they've got some rubber bands and then some new fasteners. I think it's all stainless steel material. Which is kind of nice. So in the uh, factory manual you can see the way they show the clip going on. So I just uh, flip through the pages so you can see how things go. Hopefully you're able to pause this and uh, read it at your own leisure. That's kind of the intent here. They talk about using some uh, grease on the uh, sliding faces. I was thinking about putting some uh, silicone grease on the o-rings but uh, I guess they don't really mention that in the manual so I'll skip that part. This is about rebuilding the whole front caliper. Probably won't end up doing that. In most cases I think it's usually quicker and more cost effective just to replace the caliper. So, and there's a the last little bit there talks about lubricating the slide faces. So uh, we'll grab two sets of parts here and uh, go over the driver's side, see if we can whip this together. Alright, so we just uh, compress the piston quickly. Usually you can just kind of jiggle things around a bit, but don't go too far if you're going to do this because it could overflow your master cylinder. Just use a half inch wrench to pull these pieces off. I wouldn't recommend the uh, flex ratchet heads there. Kind of jiggle out of the way all the time. They're always bending. You're trying to put pressure on them and they just bend out of the way. But uh, I've got them so I use them anyway. Rather than buying a new set. Try not to lose all the bits and pieces here. Find a place to hook this on temporarily. Might as well just uh, for completeness take this off, scrape everything down. So I just a uh, wire brush. Don't breathe the brake dust. You never know what's going to be in it. Talk about lubricating it so uh, got a bit of Molly Extreme here. They say high pressure grease, but I think as long as it's decent grease, you should be all right. Clearly, you don't want to get a lot on your uh, brakes, so I have to wipe that off. Spray it down with uh, your brake cleaner. I'm just going to do the one side. Put it on the calipers. Didn't get it on the uh, braking surface, so I just wipe it off. 
for the rubber bands, you see, just to go around like such. Hopefully you can see that in the light. Make sure your fingers are clean before you touch anything, break parts. Try not to destroy the rubber bands, they're kind of Bit of a crazy idea in my opinion, how long they last. And then, said according to the instructions, this goes like this now. These tanks, that's yeah, pushing down on the uh, piece of the brake pad. Hopefully after you do this, you get rid of some of the uh, vibrating noises that you get out of your front end of your vehicle. Because uh, being a fairly old vehicle, I never knew how this was supposed to go on. That's part of the reason I bought the manual. I can't trust uh, the last 30 people that have done brake jobs on a vehicle. Seems to be quite a bit of tension on things, that looks good. I'm sure there's a torque spec on that. See my front end's moving around, I'm changing the control arms on this job. Vehicle at the same time. So hopefully now, you go over bumps. You won't have any noise coming from the calipers. Of course, I this front end, but that's okay. So that's uh, the way it works. Just make sure you push your brakes in a few times to set your uh, pistons before you go and drive. Otherwise, the first time you try to stop, you'll probably crash into something.